Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us on Friday of the 33rd week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass intention is for the deceased members of Our Lady of the Wayside. The Lord said, I think thoughts of peace and not of affliction. You will call upon me and I will answer you and I will lead back your captives from every place. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. My sisters, my brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. <clears throat> I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my, my thoughts, thoughts in my, and, my and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. My Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, our God, the constant gladness of beginning devoted to you, for it is full a lasting happiness be served with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, heard a voice from heaven speak to me. Then the voice spoke to me and said, Go, take the scroll that lies open in the hand of the angel, who is standing on the sea and on the land. So I went up to the angel and told him to give me the small scroll. And he said to me, take and swallow it. It will turn your stomach sour, but in your mouth it will taste as sweet as honey. I took the small scroll from the angel's hand and swallowed it. In my mouth it was like sweet honey, but when I, had eaten it in, when I had eaten it, my stomach turned sour. Then someone said to me, You must prophesy again about many peoples, nations, tongues, and kings. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial is, How sweet to my taste is your promise. How sweet to my taste is your promise. In the way of your decrees I rejoice, as much as in all riches. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Yes, your decrees are my delight, they are my counselors. How sweet to my taste is your promise. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. How sweet to my taste is your promise. How sweet to my palace, palate are your promises, sweeter than honey to my mouth. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Your decrees are my inheritance forever, the joy of my heart they are. How sweet to my taste is your promise. I gasp with open mouth in my yearning for your commands. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Your blessing, Father. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered the temple area and proceeded to drive out those who were selling things, saying to them, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer but you have made it a den of thieves. And every day he was teaching in the temple area, 
the chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people, meanwhile, were seeking to put him to death. But they could not, but they could find no way to accomplish their purpose because all the peoples were hanging on his words. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's gospel not only reveals something that Jesus did long ago, it also reveals something that he desires to do today. What he desires to do is two things, to root out evil within the temple of our world and to root out evil in the temple of our hearts. Regarding the first point, it is clear that the evil and ambition of many throughout history have seeped into our church and the world. While this is nothing new, everyone has most likely encountered some sort of hurt from those within the church itself, from society, and even from family members. Jesus does not promise perfection for those we encounter every day, but he does promise to vigorously go after evil and root it out. As for the second and the most important point, we should see this passage as a lesson for our own souls. Each soul is a temple that should be set aside solely for the glory of God and the fulfillment of his holy will. Therefore, this passage fulfilled today, therefore, this passage is fulfilled today if we allow our Lord to enter in and see the evil and filth within our own souls. This may not be easy to do and will, and will require humility and surrender. But the end result will be cleansing and purification by our Lord. Reflect today upon the fact that Jesus desires to bring about purification in many ways. He desires to purify the church as a whole, each society and commun community, and your own family, and especially your own soul. Do not be afraid to let Jesus' holy wrath work its power. Pray for purification on all level, levels and let Jesus accomplish his mission. Let us approach the throne of the Father and offer him our prayers. For Pope Francis, may the Lord guide and sustain him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For lawmakers, may God bless them with fortitude in their efforts to protect the dignity and sanctity of human life from conception through natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all mourning the loss of a loved one, may the Lord fill them with his presence and console them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in this community of faith discerning a vocation to the priesthood or religious life, may God's grace and peace be with them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Joseph Scaletta and all the faithful that departed, may they rest in the peace of the Father's embrace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the deceased members of Our Lady of the Wayside, for whom this Mass is especially being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> for the prayers and petitions in our parish book of intentions, and for those we hold in the quiet of our hearts, let us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept the prayers of our hearts and answer them according to your mercy. Through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
Blessed our Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed our Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the praise of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was just condemned, in mercy you redeem him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voice, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, the, in highest. the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the fall, so that they may become for us the blood and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the blood and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him, with him, in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honors yours for ever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, and from by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as a way, the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the, the sins, sins of the world. Of the world. Have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say, say the word and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were sacramentally there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. To be near God is my happiness, to place my hope in God, the Lord. Let us pray. <clears throat> we have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, 
that what your son commanded us to do in memory of him may growing may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus, you open wide the door of your house and you bid us to enter confidentially that we may worship you in spirit and truth. Help me, help me each day to draw near to you with gratitude and joy for your great mercy. May I always revere your word and give you acceptable praise and worship. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. <laughs>